Hey, you want some help? My dog. He was chasing me. Okay. My husband said to call him. I didn't even know you had those. I didn't know I had them. Okay. 40, 60, 80, 3, 20. Thank you, eBay, for sponsoring today's video. We're doing something a little different today. It's it's a, it's a bright and early 7.30 a.m. I'm here with Drew, as you can tell, and we are hitting some garage sales. So we're gonna see if we can find anything decently underpriced to resell online here in, where are we at, Wesley Chapel? Close to Tampa. Close to Tampa. So let, let's hit some garage sales. <laughs> Or it could be a jewelry. But I've seen so many different uses for it. Yeah, I just stack them up. It's so much Morning. easier in the freezer to, to do that. Oh yeah. Do you have any other buck jerseys for sale? Uh, that's a oh, that's a dog jersey. Yeah. Okay, I don't. I'm sorry, but yeah, that corner's all dog stuff. Okay. <laughs> These all the shoes you got? Yeah, somebody yeah. somebody what cleaned me out this morning. Just right. missed you. Yeah, he came. I had uh, a ton of men's Nikes, on clouds, everything. Oh man, I missed he out. Got good early. <laughs> uh, all the clothes, ma'am, are a dollar. Okay. Oh, what about Harley stuff? You guys have any Harley t-shirts? It's like I love, I love wearing old Harley tees. Yes. Is this the TikTok chair? It is the TikTok chair. Crisscross applesauce. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it makes fun of me, but you know what? It hurt. I couldn't work. You couldn't I do work it. from home. We both do. Okay. I couldn't. My back is killing me. Yeah, my, There's no support. Yeah, my wife almost bought it. I'm glad she didn't then. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, no, it's because it's out of yours, I know. <laughs> All right, well, thank you. You're There's welcome. another one over there if you want to walk oh, over. Okay. <sighs> missed out. You missed out. Early birds got worms, but we're smart snails. All right. How's it going? Do you have any questions? Just fire away. Got any shoes? Uh, actually, what size are you? Uh, anything. I do. I'm Some Metcons? These, and they're too tight on me. Okay. I've worn them a couple of times. They're, uh, I think, 11 and a half. 11 and a half? Yeah. Which, what's your price on them? What would you do? Um, I don't, I don't want a low ball yet. I'd... Uh, I literally have worn them maybe twice. Okay. I'd say 40. 40? 40? 25. 30. You got a deal. All right, let's do it. <laughs> I'll take that loss. I know what to pay for them, but I know they don't fit. Yeah. You got 10? Yeah. Appreciate ten. it. Yeah. The, the only shoes I'd probably, you know, sell. Everything else is... That's understandable. Out. Yeah. <laughs> you need shoes. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Have a good one. I got some Nikes. <laughs> I, I, I wish I would have... <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys reseller? Yeah. yeah. They're not yard sale prices? Let's see what you got. I have a shit ton of brand new in the box, like old Nikes from like 2017, 18, 19. Okay. I mean, I'll, I'll look at them. You want me to go get them? Sure. I'll hold down the fort. If everything's gone when you get back, it wasn't me. Okay. Just got to ask. First rolling, first rolling. I see some Jordan 3s, some on clouds. Expandable wagon. That's a nice wagon. No. I wonder if she's priced it right now. Okay. Good morning. I'm out of breath. <laughs> okay, you want some help? My dog. He was chasing me. Okay. Oh, they're already priced? Sorry. Uh, well, that's when I was on Facebook Marketplace. Okay. My husband said to call him. Uh, to call him? I'll call him upstairs. Okay. Are you selling Then I'll... Yes. How much? Five dollars. <laughs> that is a steal. Oh, listen. How much was it? Five dollars. <laughs> we missed out. There you go. I just want to get. You want to get rid of it? I have a. Yeah, I got a new one with the beach tires. Oh, nice. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. What are you doing out here? I don't have my phone. Do you go mind, upstairs. Do you might help me out here. Huh? Huh? Um, this is not the correct box. Yeah, I was gonna say not the right box. Yeah, we missed it. It was taped on Thursday night. We missed all of them. Okay. It's okay. All right, I'm, I'm going to grab my phone out of my car so I sure. can get an idea of what I can pay. Absolutely. All right, so those are the yeah. listeds on these. Oh, I okay. did. Okay, 330 listed, yeah. 97 sold. 
with with box. So mm -hmm. probably around eighty bucks. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab my phone. You can do yeah. the next one. So eighty. All right, let's hope that they work a deal here. Uh, he doesn't professionally race, Those but go they good do dirt bike ride. Yeah, nice, yeah. nice. A lot when of options, guys, uh, which is bad, but uh, brand, that's not the same one. And line. then Dade no. City? Yeah. These are yeah, like brand new, though. Yeah, my son races at Dade City. So, oh, how fun! Yeah, those are. Right? So probably that's why higher I end. That's ask you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming down for 150 About what they'd go for. Okay. This seems to be about the going price. Uh, yeah, but I don't, those, they're not brand new. You have an emotional hold to everything out here. I don't. Very lightly used. I wish they were a little bigger. We could be adding to the collection here. All of them. I think they're all nine and a half. Are they? Yeah. I could probably get 120 for those. 20. All right, that's that one. More than one cargo. That's about the pre-owns. Okay. For these. But I think these are pretty much close to dead stock. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think they well, pass us, but yeah, yeah, yeah. you can't sell them as new, but about as close as you can get. Yeah. And last one, CT10. CT10. 20 101. Is there one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four? Okay, can you get your cal calculator out? Yep. Say 500 minus. Say like 75 for fees, 425. So you'd have to be like almost half of them. Yeah. How how negotiable do you think he's gonna be? Because I don't want to like call him up and just lowball him. Because uh, honestly, I think that I could get $500 plus shipping for everything combined, and then I gotta take out like 75 for fees. Um, and judging off his prices here, I don't I don't want to call him oh, and be but like. Oh, those were like. These were, I mean, I've had these stickers on here. Okay. Um, which ones are you most liking? Um, and then I could, I, I can call them. I mean, I'd, ta I'd take all of them, but. But for how much? Um, I'd have to be 350 is really top. Um, these are Air Force One Reacts. Air Force One Reacts. Oh, you're walking down, okay. Oh, he's coming. Perfect. Real quick, since it's Earth Month this April, there's tons of people around the globe looking for ways to make a difference. And I wanted to share something with you really quick. No, it's not just the shoe right here. It's the symbol of sustainability and a step towards a greener planet. eBay makes it easy for all of us to contribute to a more sustainable world, especially through the power of selling secondhand items. Did you know that by selling or reselling pre-owned shoes on eBay, you're not only giving them a new lease on life, but you're preventing them from ending up in the landfill. Selling on eBay is great because not only are you making some extra cash, but you're also embracing a culture of reusing and recycling, which is crucial for our environment. By choosing to sell sell or resell shoes on eBay, you're joining into a community of eco-conscious individuals who understand the importance of breathing new life into every product. So this Earth Month, let's all start living a little bit more sustainable life and make a little extra cash while doing so. So why not start today? Head on over to eBay, list some shoes, and become part of a more sustainable future. And remember, every shoe counts. Shout out to eBay for sponsoring today's video, and let's get back to the garage sales. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Yeah. Uh, uh, so, I mean, you can take a look at what's here. I I told her at the uh, at the end of the day, I can probably sell them for five hundred plus shipping. Now, you know you can't find those, right? I understand, but I I was looking online and they're selling for about ninety dollars plus shipping. Where did you look online for? It? On eBay. Here, I got it pulled up. Oh, they do. Are you guys doing eBay? So the cargos right now, like they're pre-owned condition, seventy-five to ninety. There's one listed new um, for 300, but there hasn't been any new ones sold. The most recent three sales are 75 to 80 bucks in the cargos. All right, so do all of them for four. I, I'll be, I'm honestly like, I'm trying to be as best as I can at three. They've been sitting in my closet for two years. They can sit for another two years. Okay, that's that's perfectly fine. So, I'm cool. I, I appreciate you bringing them out though. No problem. Yeah, have a good one. Any of them? Uh, Maybe just don't do those. Hard to find ones. I'm not worried about those. I'm just saying it's still low. I mean, you're looking at below $100 a pair. So 
hold on. Let's think about this. Sure. So those are new. Those are used. If we're if we're leaving anything out of the deal, I'll pass on these. No, let's do 350 because I forgot these are used. Okay. So let's do it. 350 works for you? Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Appreciate it. 350, you can double check that. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate you bringing these down. Yeah, no problem. I knew once you said you have shoes, I. So you can just open the top. I knew that you guys were reasonable. <laughs> yeah, appreciate it. <laughs> Man, this morning I had on clouds. I wish I would have been here for the yard sale prices. How much did you sell them for? That's the real question. Like 10 bucks a pair, 20 bucks a pair, $2. Yeah. Oh. I would have, I, I'll be honest with you, I would have made a lot more money if I found those than these. Really? <laughs> yeah. Especially, I mean, for the prices, you know what I mean? Listen, because this guy, I felt bad. I, here's the thing though, my heart felt good because I think I, he knew he needed them. That's always best. Yes. Oh, well, it if you sell them someone in need, then that's what Exactly. Yeah. yeah, he had a whole bag full. Now, if he's reselling them somewhere, I'm going to be really Because <laughs> he told me a good story. Hey, well, I mean, you know, if he needs the money. True. Yeah. Appreciate Thank it. You guys, have a good day. Well, I uh, spent a lot of the budget there. <laughs> got some good stuff, though. You got it? I do. Yes, sir. Are you interested in without boxes? Uh, I'll, sure, I'll take a look what you got. Yeah. Keep them coming. Die with our closet. Yeah, at least I understand. Like die. Yeah. He's uh, a shoe fanatic. Yeah, I can tell. Yes. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't give up many more of those over there. Yeah. I oh, saw some guys, good ones Do you guys there. do kids? Uh, very rarely. Very rare. Yeah. It's most. Of the, I mean, you know how kids stuff is. Most people don't really want to pay too much because their no. kids grow out of them. Yeah. Definitely. Oh my god. <laughs> you had all those? <laughs> all right. I didn't even know you had those. I didn't know I had them. All right, let's go and do some math again. <laughs> you have enough room? Yeah, we should. Let's tip over from the wind. Some denim threes. Denim threes. Yeah. All right. Used. I have, a, I have a pair of these. More, That's like oh, is that so? <laughs> these ones, I have a pair of these. Yeah. Going into the shoe fund? Uh, five dollars. All I used to buy is one. Oh, five dollars. Then every uh, soccer dad and everybody yeah. started wearing them. Yeah, <laughs> so you got it. Right when COVID hit. But I've been buying since about 97. Okay. So I started buying in Japan and stuff like that. So. Yeah, nice. Yeah. All right, so these are just basic, Some basic, basic mids. mids. Yeah. 800 listed. Solds aren't even coming up. No solds? Let me double check the, the number here. Alright. Um, I think these would go for 100. You couldn't find anything on those? Mm -hmm. No solds. Just on the listed. There's a bunch of them. I'll just pass on them. No. <laughs> Nothing on these either. Really? Oh no, I did the wrong number. Sorry. Where, where'd you get those ones at right there? Uh, these actually hit the Nike outlet. Okay, because I have the black and white, and I have the whole white, and I have a gray pair. Yeah. The uh, Some of the Sakai stuff's been popping up with outlets lately. I only paid 60 bucks for them. I only paid 60 for them. Yeah. Yeah. The Sakai's were hot for a while. Uh, yeah, they were real hot. All right, so there's some of the bloodlines. Okay. These don't have box though, right? Okay. These ones don't have box, correct? Uh, yeah. What number is it? Uh, five 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 zero eight eight zero six two. No. No. No box. So that's no okay. box on these. So. You already did these? Nope. That's my stack, right? Two seven. Yeah. These are dead stock. Yeah. Are they mids or highs? Oh, mids. oh, this is wrong box. These are the elephant toe cement cement ones. Do they have the correct box with them? I believe so. Sorry, I didn't mean to Yeah. Yeah, the mid SE DM 1200. Yeah. This is correct box with it has the laces too. 169 listed, 70 sold. So the, there's like the authenticity guarantee on brand new right there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. 
five. This is this. This isn't the box for one of these. I don't know if it's for one of those. Uh, cement, no, it's for a cement, it's for a low pork. top pair. And then you said your pass. Yeah. Oh, these. Yeah. Okay. Pass on those. Would you do another three fifty? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Let me see how much I got here. I charge interest on one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got one sixty. You wanna help me out here? Oh, he's busting out the hundreds. One sixty. Yeah, he's he's a high roller, not me. <laughs> Dude. Clearly. 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 20, 40, 60. You got a 10? Yeah. Look at his shoes and then look at mine and tell me who's the high roller. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much. I, I appreciate you bringing them down. No problem. Thank yeah, you. No problem. Last year I sold, what, 20, 30 pair? Sneaker well, heads. That's good. I, would, <laughs> I like no, no, no. it. Was, I was you know? pre that. I was pre okay, that. okay. So I always sit there and say I was pre that. Before it was cool, like I said, we were getting shit from Japan. I lived in Europe for a long time, so buying from Europe. Sweet. I go to London all the time and I bring stuff back. That's yeah. cool. So, yeah. Nice. Do you guys do like, uh, not just sneakers, do you do like Ted Bakers, Cole Hans? Um, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a little tougher to sell that kind of stuff, though. Is it? Yeah. It's, like I said, I, I do it like when I go to London, like I said, I look for anything that's only available in London. Yeah. So that's it. And then I bring those back. And that's to my son. That's what he wears to school. So. Nice. <laughs> nice. You take pretty good, ter pretty good yeah, care of stuff. Out. You want me to take your number? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to? Yeah, I'll give you your number. Or, yeah. or even if you have a handle or. Uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, you got Instagram? Yeah. If you want to sell any Harley tees, that's what I buy. <laughs> oh, so. yeah. That's what he was asking. Sorry. He has one on. I forgot. He said. I said you don't get rid of any. Not about uh, dealing with 400 D E A L I N G. Okay, I, c I collect vintage yeah. Harley tees. So. Yep. I got you. Appreciate it, and, and I I really do buy anything, um, and I try to buy, pay the best prices I can. So yeah. that's what my dad does. But he wow, what a turn of events! What a turn of events! <laughs> that's crazy. We got. <laughs> we'll go through all this when we get home. Right, that was that was absolutely insane. Definitely my best garage sale come up ever, but I don't really go garage selling. I definitely think we paid a very, very, very fair price at $700 for all those shoes. I think he's happy, I'm happy. We'll probably make like three, $400 off of those. I'm, I'm gonna head back home and show you up close what all we picked up from that one garage sale. So I'll see you there. All right, so we're back. Uh, Carly's already banged out cleaning and uh, photographing all of these shoes. So I just I just had to repull them so we can go over everything that we picked up. So you guys get a good look at what we picked up at that amazing garage sale. Now I washed back the footage and I feel like I probably could have got them for a lower price. But when I shot out the $350 number on the first batch of shoes, I was trying to be as generous as I possibly could because he literally had a $350 price tag on one pair of shoes. So I, I was really trying to not offend him because I really wanted to come home with these. But nonetheless, we got these all for a really good price. It was $700 for 10 pairs of shoes. So an average cost of $70 a pair, but we got a couple in here that'll sell for 200 by themselves, several over a hundred. So at least a $30 profit per pair minimum after everything's all averaged out. I'll start off with probably the, the worst pair. Uh, they can be sold as new, I think these Air Force one reacts. Um, I wouldn't pay $70 for these by themselves. So I'm just putting that out there. These will probably sell for like $70 plus shipping. But like I said, everything's going to average out. But we got the Air Force One reacts um, in brand new condition. The pairs that weren't with their original box, we got two pairs of Jordan highs, uh, the bloodlines. And I can't think of, I, I don't know what this colorway is called. Both of these are like 120 ish on a good day without the box. And then moving on up here, we got a pair of mids. These are one of the lower end pairs, probably go for around, you know, 90 to 100 plus shipping. And then moving on to the box stuff, aside from the Air Force Ones, these uh, Air Jordan 1 Cargos, I think these are the shoes that he actually had a $350 price tag on. And I really don't know where he got that. Sure, you don't see these very often. I didn't even know these existed. I think this is a good looking pair of shoes. Carly even likes them, yeah, I like them. which is rare for, for her when it comes to uh, sneakers. These, uh, these cargo Jordan ones. Now the solds, like I mentioned in the video, were pre-owned shoes that were not in great condition and they sold for 70 to 90. All of the good condition, and these things are in great condition, listings on eBay are like 150 plus. So I'm hoping to get around like 120 to 140. Oh my gosh, a bird just walked in the garage. Stop, Turn stop, around. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, oh, there he goes. Is that the one I was sitting on her earlier too? Yeah, my guy's trying to hang out with us. Oh he gosh. just took a dump on my car and then <laughs> flew off. <laughs> that was so rude. Anyway, I'm gonna list these around 150. Probably accept anything over like 125. These are a pair of mids, but they actually do pretty decent. These elephant toe mids with the extra laces um, actually especially in this condition, pre-owned sell for like 130 to 140 as well. Borderline brand new. I could probably get away with selling these as brand new. 
other than this little speck right here, like I, I think these things are brand new. I'd lick the bottom of this. Would you get mad at me if I licked them? You would lick the bottom of a dirty shoe. Yeah, you're right. I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. But anyway, brand new elephant toe mids. This is at least $130. Then we got a pair of 12 Lowe's. I think these are the Easter colorway. These ones definitely aren't brand new, but these things are clean. I really like these shoes. I uh, can't remember off the top of my head what these were selling for. Another one, everything was pretty much in like the 120 to 140 range, at least on the Jordans over here. Uh, so I'm, I'm assuming this is another 120 to 140. So it's $70, still still a little room to, uh, to make some profit on that bad boy. And then moving on to our last two pairs, the best two pairs. We got a pair of cement Jordan 3s. Uh, these ones are not, not new, they're clearly worn, but this pair even in pre-owned condition still sells upwards of $200, 180 to 220 on a good day. So $70 for these was an absolute steal. Complete in the box, beautiful pair of shoes. Unfortunately, as I mentioned, this guy is just so close to being my size. All these are nine and a half. If I could get like at least one 10, that would be nice. And then last but not least, we have some Fire Red Fives. Another pair that is going to sell for at least $200. 200 to 215 pre-owned. If they were brand new, this would be like a 300 plus dollar shoe, but $70 for the Fire Red Fives. An absolute stealio, absolute stealio. So again, 10 pairs, 700 bucks. Let me know in the comments how you think I did. Let me know how much you think I overpaid by. What would you have offered the guy? Because I'm, I'm telling you, this guy, the stickers on these boxes added up to at least $1,500, and I shot him a $350 offer, and I thought he was going to punch me in the mouth. I also get anxiety about that, so probably around the same. Yeah, yeah. So, again, I think um, if we average $25 profit per pair, that is very conservative. Averaging everything out, $25 profit per pair, that's $250 profit from the one garage sale, and this is all stuff that's going to sell super quick. So, I'm happy with that. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. But, um, yeah, with that being said, we didn't really find much else at the garage sales this stop really made the entire trip worth it we stopped at uh rod picking and punching uh on, his name on youtube is picking and punching i'll put a little graphic so you guys can go subscribe to him we popped into his garage sale and actually picked up a few pairs of shoes from him uh he was just trying to liquidate a bunch of old inventory i think he got 10 pairs paid ten dollars a pair uh best thing best thing i found she put them up but i got a pair of dunks i'll put a clip on the screen but um shout out rod go subscribe to him if you want to see i don't have any more garage sale footage this is the first time i've ever gone garage selling and recorded it so if you want to see more of that let me know but um if you want to keep watching some shoe reselling content i'll put a link to a video up here i'm sure you'll like and uh, with that being said i will i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye, -bye.